pillows. Pillows sell really good. This is an angel sleeper. Sometimes pillows will surprise you. This is made by the Copper Fit Company, so this is probably like, say, a thirty-five to forty dollar pillow. Yeah, but we could go up to our competitor up the street, and it'll be sixty-nine ninety-nine. Oh, no. eBay prices in a store. Forty dollars. So you know, well, we open it, we look for any type of use. If there's hair at all, then of course now it's used. Yeah, but, it's a lot cheaper. It'd be like. Ten dollars, eight dollars in our yeah, shop. Yeah, we'll probably charge used. fifteen to twenty for that. It might even uh, be an eBay item. Would you like me to put it on eBay and you guys? Yeah, can... I throw it on eBay. To me, to me, Adam, it looks like it was just kind of crushed from being on the power. So yeah. we get microwaves quite often. Usually, they have a dent from shipping, and that's it. They work perfectly fine. We sell these for about twenty bucks in our store, but they're very this one slow looks... movers. Yeah, it's about standard. It's, yeah, a, it's that's a basic, just a basic microwave. One, yeah. That's probably worth 20 to 30 max, depending on when we open it. Um, to I see. think it's just box damage, honestly. Yeah, it has a hole in the side of the box, but it didn't, it didn't get to the thing. The front of it's actually quite... This one could be higher. Let's scan it. Quite Because I know they're dying to know. <laughs> Isn't most, mi most basic microwaves under 50? I think, yeah, around 60, I think. Yeah, it is. There's a massive hole on the side, like you said, but it's not damaged at all. Ninety bucks. Ninety on sale for seventy. So actually, we might try to get like thirty. Yeah. So if you need a microwave, yeah. send us a message. Yeah. Just heavy. I wonder if that's good news. Gosh, I hope so. Is that the last? That's box? the last box on this pallet. Gosh, I picked a pallet, guys. Yeah, you I picked a really, really good one. I bet it's closed. Huh? Closed. Probably junk. <laughs> Look in it too. 16 iBad Pros. Yeah, come on. I'll even let you dig. Are you going to let me dig this time? Well, it's heavy, so it can't just be clothing. You can do that later. Our audience, clutter, son. our audience is waiting. <laughs> They're probably thinking, look at this. Dude, in the back. Anybody is still watching, thank you. <laughs> like and subscribe. The other pals will be better, hopefully. No, so this, is the, be. this is the reality of this business. You yeah. get a lot of crap like this. Who knows? Let's and then see you'll find an iPad sitting in a random box. Did you plant the iPad in this one? I did. No, we would never plant anything no. to get views. That's no. crazy. All right. That. That is actually a nice shirt. That actually is. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, take that home. I don't want that junk. Yeah, so we have a bunch of these guys. So, so this is a shirt that I guarantee you our shirt or clothing lady will take. Yeah. Retails for thirty. But the problem is, we'll probably get about five dollars out of her. Yeah, five each. Just so. fine, but there's three pieces of clothing for fifteen dollars. I thought I was going through it. You too. Yeah, you, look how long you took for three shirts. Yeah, it didn't take that long. This is a closed box. It is all clothing, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, you know what? This clothing box yeah. could be worth a couple hundred bucks to her. Yep. And you got maternity stuff. I wonder if these have been used. Have they? Uh, they do kind of smell like it. <laughs> they do kind of smell like sweat. They got the tags on them. Yeah, so it's just all clothing. Yeah, so not you guys don't care about clothing, but... Let's grab another box off one of these other pallets. Yeah. I am feeling around, guys, to see if there's something... Could be an iPhone. ...that could be hidden within the clothing. This is a clothing box, so. Yeah, but this you know is, what? This, this is, is probably this, this box is probably the most valuable box on that we pulled frame. off because we have someone who'll buy clothing. From us. So, um, I'd say minimum of fifty here, up to maybe three hundred. That's that's literally how. We're gonna go through a couple more boxes just because. I'll be honest, that was not a good pallet. A bunch of boring junk. So However, more, this this could all. Yeah, more you know, stuff you guys don't want to see. This could be more junk. Um, you don't know. You really don't have a clue. All right, I'm going to pull. I mean, this very, box could be a couple hundred bucks. Very, it could very, be very trash. lightweight, I don't think. This looks like this was shipped to somebody, and they shipped it back. I'll let you open it. So uh, somebody ordered something. Their name's on here, so I don't know why they leave their name. 
Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> see what I mean? You, you don't know wow. what's in here. That's it would have been a cute dinosaur lamp. It would have been. Garbage. Literally straight crap. to the dump. I picked the I picked the boxes, don't I? There you do. And we've we've gotten good stuff. Don't let this video deter you. Like we found two Fitbit sport watches. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping you we get. We sold something. for 150 on eBay already. Um, a bunch of other stuff we sold on Facebook. So it's not all junk like you see them. But I think with Target truckloads, it's more quantity over quality. value yeah, because know. the store, you know, generates two, three, four, five dollars per item, and we have thousands of items. So we'll get the majority of our money back, but it's a lot of work. I'm kind of excited about what's in this one. Let's so we'll do see. this real quick, and yeah, I'll let you open that. I, you're excited. Well, I'm excited because it's a small box and it's very heavy, and there's a lot of stuff in it. So this might be a sign to what's coming in these boxes. I think you get my drift. Please don't. Oh. We got lots of toilet paper, and we'll just keep it. I mean, we'll use it eventually. Yeah, keep it, bring it home, whatever. You don't have to buy toilet paper for a while. Yeah. Mopping cloths. A couple bucks in the store, but I think it's going to open. It smells, smells good. good. I, can smell it's coconut. Right. I can smell it already. It might still be worth a couple bucks in the and store. Yeah. See this box? This box is socks. And we go clothing, scratch the sniff, I just smell right through it. And then a few Virgil Alerts. Which I highly doubt anything is rare with this one. So we've got this champion. Uh, oh no. uh, kind of looks like champion. Mm. <laughs> so these are worth about 12 bucks each on eBay. But by the time you ship it and protect it, you're making maybe $6. So we'll probably just throw this in our store for like five bucks each. Yeah. Four this or is, five. So guys, it's still mainly just clothing and socks. Yeah, this box so. is not exciting. Yep. Director? <laughs> you can put it under the table. Yeah, you throw it on top of that box next year because that's all clothing too. Yeah, it's all clothing. We filled that one up. What do you oh, think? This one's oh, heavy. That's what I was saying. What could it be? Oh, it it's... looks like it was sealed. They filled it and sealed it. Yeah. Because there's no shipping labels on it. I'm a nice guy, so there you go, up. sir. Get back. I want to see. Ah, I see why it's heavy. Junk? Wow. I, I don't want to say junk, but nothing that so excites random. me. You just you literally do not know. That's why it's what? heavy. Yeah. So, guys, the heaviness comes from laundry detergent. There's five of them, five or six of them in here. It's baby, well, it's $15 per jug. I think we got like, there's, there over there we have another 10 jugs. Yeah. So, you know, if it's 15 retail, we'll probably put five bucks in our store. And you know, so that's right well, here, like, here's $30 worth of director. That's well, actually not a bad box. 1999. Salvage. Yeah, brand well, new. It's never been opened, so. Yeah, brand new sealed. Oh, we had a chicken, a toddler chicken. <laughs> and Justin would love that if it was his size. That's actually cute. We have boxes upon boxes of Halloween. So we're going to have a Halloween sale next year, obviously, or later this year. They're off mainly costumes there. Yeah. Some more clothing. Boy, we're just, these viewers are impressed. Uh, you're not very impressed, so they're not going to be no, impressed. No, I know. I was being very sarcastic. Costumes. Oh, there's someone who wants to dream big. Huh. This will go in our store for probably what? Uh, five or ten bucks, five probably. Bucks. Pillow Fort. They're not a very expensive brand, but I'm curious Just what they were trying to get for that. Yeah. Wow, this. Thirty-five dollars a Target, so we might actually put like fifteen on it. Just rare stuff like this that you don't see every day sells so sells really good in the store. I know that this will, this will help for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Are we just going to go through this one too? Yeah. Uh, these pies. Uh, I'm kind of tired of going through Target stuff. <laughs> I got 28 pallets in them. 
when you open boxes and they're all clothing, it gets kind of boring. I mean, it's worth money, so don't get me wrong. This is all pajamas. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's worth good money. Christmas candy and stuff. Yeah. And then this. I think that's new. Yeah. There's a hole in it. Oh. Yeah, that that one. Oh trash. god! Sometimes you get trash like this. Oh my god! That's oh. actually strong. Are you I'm just a wimp. Oh yeah. You rip it. You're darn right. Rip it. It's strong. <laughs> Edit. Or we're both. Or we're both a week. I think we need to add of that out. Oh, that's that's very strong. <laughs> oh look at this. And then it oh. broke off. Awesome. Whatever is in there. This is all pajamas and stuff, but you know, if you say we average three to five dollars per piece and there's forty pieces in here, you know, you're, you're still looking at a hundred to two hundred dollars depending on what we wind up getting. So. Alright, this will be the last box for this video. It's already very long. Yeah, you'll edit it down. <laughs> yeah, but that takes an hour and a half. You have to watch it your whole video to edit, which oh, man. there's not much we really need to edit out, so maybe I'll just run it. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't do any we didn't, didn't do anything do. dumb. Or. I see some good stuff on the pilot. There's some good stuff coming, guys. We're going to get through it because this will help us stay organized, too, if we do this on video. Like Adam, Project 62, there's, some, there's a bunch of furniture on that pallet. This one. So this poor <laughs> reindeer, his little antler is broken. His freaking leg is broken. Oh, wow. There's Andy. <laughs> okay, that's enough. You guys want a deer? That's, that's trash. This will be five bucks on our LED lit dinosaur color changing. Christmas? That's how you do it. We got candy at least. Wow, Ooh, fudge that. brown. We found his leg. Can we super glue that? No, I just broke the whole thing when I cut through it in there. The antler shattered it. This, this is the best box yet, guys. We have fudge, brownie, m and Yeah, a bunch. This is whole oh, box. Oh hell cool. yeah! This is the best box yet. If you, if you love M and M's, we're gonna do a taste test real quick. I've never had fudge brownie. Have you guys? Olive oil sprayer. It's kind of cool. Just fill, pump, and spray. Oh wow! It's actually a brownie in there. It's, <laughs> it's like soft. You have one. Pull in here. Those are good. We're keeping these here. Wanna try them, no director? I don't like fudge. Fudge that. <laughs> Those are good. They were good. And we got the whole freaking thing. What a robot. A peanut. Ooh. I like those. Wow, I like those. Just what I need. Just being okay. diet. Right. Rolls Lego stuff. The good news, Adam. When we get to this on the next video, I don't think it's been used. Oh, good. It just came out of the box, and that's why it's on there. Those are awesome. Those are really good. That's... <laughs> fudge brownie. If you haven't had fudge brownie M and M's, get them. Can I get the peanut? Well, we got them here. Oh, you want a peanut yeah. one? Yeah, I like those. They are really good. Those are, those are my, some of the best M and M's. Regular M&M chocolates? Man. I'm not M&M. Seriously, man. try some fudge brownie. <laughs> that is good. That's good. Mm. Oh, and this Who is... Who eats their profit? Right on camera. You do. Oh, and by the way, this, this video is sponsored by M&M's. <laughs> nice. You dropped that. It's a candy uh, dispenser. Maybe we were supposed to... Put the M&M's in it. There's M&M's. No. It's showing the M&M's. That's funny. Oh, it's cracked. Ah. Is it cracked? Yeah. Gosh. Oh, just pure crack. Huh? Yeah. It's cracked. I'm having like a candy high. That's good. It's amazing just the hodgepodge stuff in here. Is it broke? I don't know. Poppy, that'll sell in the shop for sure. Well, let me that. Oh my god, is that cracked? No, it's not. Or is it like a scratch? Oh. 
Can we go back to those fudge M&Ms? Yeah, it's crap. Yeah. But, I mean, it'll still sell in our shop for a couple bucks. Oh, these are good. Baby food sells great. Baby formula, I should say. Oh, the four of them. The coffee's pretty cool, though, so. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Are they sealed? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eBay. Yeah, eBay for sure. Let's see what these go for. We sold a big one of these. It was like $60 retail, and we sold it on eBay for $35, like an hour after we listed it. How's there no results? Pretty cool little box. Um... Someone's asking 20 bucks for one or 50 for three. So we can probably four of them. We probably yeah. have 59.99 and it'll yeah, sell out. So instantly. So that's awesome. This is the best box we've gone through. So when Jenny lists that, she'll know to put them up. she know to put them all four. Yeah. Yeah, at once. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, we're going to end it here in oh, a minute, wait. guys. Five. All right. No. Is it six? Five. We're going to end it here in a minute because dinner is, she's telling me dinner's ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb too. So the rest of this is just hodgepodge of junk. Yeah, we sell this for a in the store. Tupperware sells pretty good. Yeah. Where's the Ghostbusters? <laughs> that was actually fun, guys. So anyways, you guys. If you guys like these videos, you know, give us thumbs up. <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Give Leave something in the comments if you want to see shorter videos, if... If you want yeah, to see this one's. I'll stuff. probably cut this one into two, but we're still looking at half an hour videos. Yeah, there's the rest of the box. And none of this is super exciting, but this is the real reality of. Well, hopefully we're excited. Of doing this. Oh, I hope so. Hopefully together we can make this kind of fun. You can fast forward through the boring stuff, but. Yeah. And we try to be a little bit comedic. But. I am a comedian. Huh? I am a comedian. Say that to the viewers. I am a comedian. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, I got to eat. I'm fast. All right. Do the I'm outro. 16 hour fast. Do that. Nobody cares. Do yeah. the outro. They do care. Do the outro. <laughs> they want me to lose weight. Do the what? outro. I'm out. I got to say bye and like and subscribe and all that. Do That's it. You. Do it. Bye, guys. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. All right. Peace. Have a great bye. night.